Hey everybody. Well, we're in our final week of October, so apparently this will be the very last Nostalgic Friday where it centers around Danny Phantom this month. Unless if I think of something, you know, Danny Phantom related on the top of my head. But yeah. So anyways, I thought to end this month, I share a little something, well, pretty different. Now, um, I didn't actually grow up with this personally, but um, I kind of just wanted to have it, you know, to make it part of my collection, because why the heck not? Not because, you know, I'm a big geek for anything, anything that, you know, revolves around Danny or My Little Pony and I don't know what, or any other of the Nicktoons. So yeah, so today... I got this. Yep, that's right. I'm like, wait, Sumner, you're sharing a book? Well, yeah, of course I am. What else do you expect? Now, now a fun, now how I found this book, if to some of you who aren't really well aware of this book's existence. So back in high school, I was looking, I, one day during break, I was looking up looking up, you know, some, some Nicktoon stuff on, on my Chrome, on my school Chromebook. When, when I decided, hey, what about Nicktoon comics? So I looked up comics and I happened to see, and I happened to see, and I happened to look at you and then I, and then again, I thought, hey, what about Danny Phantom comics? So of course I clicked on, you know, one of those suggestion things that uh, they do on Google and of course looked at a few. And I happened to stumble across an image on this book. And at first when I saw it, I'm like, wait, what the heck's this? I've never seen this before. And I must say, I was fairly interested in it. Oh, and also, besides this, besides the cover, I also did find a few pages from this book as well. As well, which was pretty cool, to say the least. At least. Oh, and well, um, also... And, um, pretty much, well, uh, after I guess looked into, I looked into it, I actually, um, looked into it again, I guess when I was visiting my dad one weekend, and, um, I saw a lot of, like, and I ended up, like, finding the Wikipedia page about this book, which kind of, ha which, like, had the summary, I'm like, oh, okay, so this is what happens in it. And then I guess I just stopped. But then, a few years later, a few, I think, months later, my when my birthday was coming up, I immediately stumbled across this this book again. And so, again, I decided to look at the Wikipedia page and read the summary. And immediately when I saw it, I thought, you know what? This is so going to be one of my birthday presents because I definitely, because I knew I needed something like this in my collection. Like, for real, for reals. <laughs> so yeah, so so a few days before my birthday, day my mom asked me, so uh, what do you want for your birthday? And I and then I brought up this book and happened to show her a few photos online, a few images of it online. She's like, oh, it's a chapter book. It's a chapter book, and I'm like, I'm like, yeah. And so she went on Amazon, bought it, and then on my birthday. I got it. And also, this is a part of a series, which I'm sure you can tell, called The Nick Zone, which was apparently, I guess, a series of books where, um, they, um, I guess, would, that Nickelodeon made for all its characters. So, yeah. And I think I'll show you a few pictures while I'm at it. While I'm at it. I mean, I'm not really gonna read it. I just wanna have some fun. Also, this isn't even that long, though. It's only, like, what, few chapters? I mean, it's, like, four, I think? So yeah, it's cool. Great, I have to say, great story. Recommend if you want, in fact, if you're a Danny Phantom fan, I recommend this story. I mean, really, you guys would probably love it. It's like, like, I mean, it's like an episode of Danny Phantom in book form. I mean, in fact, when I read it the first time, I actually did think to myself, you know, what would have happened if they actually made this into an actual episode? You know, just a thought. But yeah, I have to say, pretty cool story overall. Oh, I mean, you probably would enjoy it. 
I know I would. I mean, I've read it. To, I've read it a few times when um, when you know the dark, when it was dark or something, when it you know when stuff, when some stuff happened, like our power went out or something else. But yeah. Anyways, it's a good book to read. Like, really, really. And I know there's others, but I just had to get this one because why the heck not? Danny, Danny's my favorite. And he's the best. Okay, so one other thing I kind of want to bring up. Um, so um, so uh, I guess um, when I looked this, when I first looked this book up, like, well, the last time I looked, the last time I looked it up, which was I guess the sec, the second, I actually learned learned on the Wikipedia page that this was published the same day The Ultimate Enemy came out. I think so. I could have, I could be wrong, maybe. But yeah, yeah, but. But please, you would probably love this. I mean, you should totally, like, read this. I mean, it's amazing. Like, and, in fact, funny, in fact, if you want to read, although, although I will say it is kind of, it is, you know, just a good book overall. So definitely go get a read. So anyways, that's all I'm going to say for this Nostalgic Friday. Hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.